do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, thanks for dropping in. Welcome to the channel, and I'm Rick. Um, it's been a while since I've actually put a proper video together. Yeah, a lot's changed. Well, not a lot, it's still fundamentally the same bike. But um, yeah, I've now got the 1290 Superventure R. Why, some people are asking. Yep, I had no reason to get rid of my 1290 Superventure S. Absolutely loved it, never let me down. I've done everything I could personally use it for trail riding, commuting, um, fun rides out with mates uh, that have race bikes. So it did everything for me. Um, I never had a fault. Um, so yeah, why? Trying this one out because I can. Uh, I don't like the Ducati uh, Multistrada, which I could have had a Ducati. I could have gone for a 1200 Rally Pro from Triumph. All the other options are out there, but no, I love that LC8 engine. So I've just gone for another 1290, um, and I don't believe in having exactly the same bike twice. So, um, ah, and if I hate this, I can just go back to a 1290 Super Venture S if I decided to anyway. No bike is forever. So, so far I've done about 250 miles on this bike, and to be fair, it's pretty planted. Even though it's got the uh, larger wheels um longer travel suspension uh i can tell that's where the money's at definitely the suspension um i can i immediately tell from the way it kind of plants itself when you take it off the center stand um there's a certain plush kind of boink instead of a doof. very very odd to explain You've got to, yeah, you've really got to ride one to feel the difference. Um, I'm not saying it's necessarily better for you. Um, it depends what you want to use it for. Um, like I say, the, the SAS, the semi-active suspension, uh, it's great. You can change all the settings at the touch of a button. Um, I just found myself hardly ever changing those settings. And I don't think I've used the adaptive cruise control once pretty much because I don't live in Spain, Portugal, where the motorways are reasonably empty uh, with light traffic. Um, in the UK, even the adaptive cruise control, you'd never use it because it's just so congested. Um, you'd have to be on the controls all the time and just switch it off. So did I have use for the adaptive cruise control? Not really over long-term ownership. 
Uh, I did enjoy the semi-active suspension, but I started to get to a point where I never even thought about it. I just left it in sport or I left it in comfort for like a couple of months on end. And then I think, oh, you know what? Let's, let's change suspension setting and see what that's all about again. But I never really took advantage of it over the long term. But it was great playing around with it in the earlier days. Um, so for me, after riding my 790R, uh, it was one less thing to worry about in terms of hitting rocks, uh, potholes in the UK. The roads are worse than an African uh, track in the middle of the jungle. I mean, the, the roads around Stoke-on-Trent are shocking, um, which is where I live now. But uh, yeah, this bike, absolutely loving it at the moment. Um, it's a new bike, so obviously I am. Um, slightly taller, which, <laughs> yeah, that's the drawback. I'm a short guy, so I am literally on tiptoes with this thing. Um, but it's okay. I'm used to putting one foot down and one on the peg anyway. Um, it's just a bit taller than the SAS. Um, power wise same bike less electronics so I suppose less distractions um, I wasn't finding I was using the stuff on the 1290 Super Adventure S after a while so this just made more sense for me considering it's always an option to do a bit of heavier trail riding on this not that I plan to because I've got my 790R for that so really this probably I'm probably still more suited to the 1290 Super Adventure S, but I'm just trying the R out because I can. So this is my new bike, which I will own for the long term. And uh, watch this space. I'll uh, have some uh, opinions when I have better experience of ownership on it. I mean, it's still, I've only had it a week. Um, not really done anything on it. I've just spent time cleaning it more than anything. Um, just out over in Wales right now. You can see it's beautiful weather, um, right by a stream. Watch this. No one in sight, um, absolutely peaceful. And I thought it was just the ideal opportunity to do a quick video, uh, just to touch base on what's going on. So my bike is now up for sale and uh, Whoever gets that bike is, is it's a great bike. Um, I've just done nothing but look after that thing. Um, ah, I'm getting beaten to death here. Um, yeah, fully kitted out. I don't think I'm going to throw all the same stuff on this. I mean, I've got a Touratech top, the Touratech top case from KTM. Um, KTM clear headlight guard, uh, frame guards and a tech pack. Oh, oh and an Acra. But I don't think I'll bother drilling this Acra out this time. Been there, done that. Um, I don't know whether I'm two years older and I just can't be bothered anymore. But uh, the Acra just sounds fine as it is. Um, I must be getting there. Enjoying it. The bike's fantastic. And to be fair, I haven't experienced the wobble yet. Don't know why. And I have pushed it into some digits and there is no headstock shake. Rest of the, time to enjoy the rest of the ride. 